Hey everyone, it's Sassy Assassin here in the hospital. Um, I'm surprised I'm even doing this video, but um, I was admitted, well, had to go to the ER around like 3 o'clock this morning because I was having a lot of pain on my right side. And it turns out that I had a kidney stone that was blocking function to my right kidney so I was transported like six hours later to a, uh, med a bigger medical facility um, where I had surgery about an hour or so ago I'm currently on the toilet and um, just trying to urinate as much as I can because after a a stone surgery the best thing you can do to help with the pain down there is to urinate as much as you can because it helps heal faster so um I know this is like weird <laughs> doing a video like considering I just had like surgery <laughs> um but I just I want to document this moment to show you guys kind of what I have to go through have I make a lot of I make kidney stones a lot because I don't know they call it sludge in the kidneys and um and I just it's like I'm like a kidney stone factory um it also goes hand in hand with the gastroparesis. Um, it really sucks, but you know, after a while, you just sort of just get used to it and just deal with it the best way you can. Just right now, I'm in just a lot of pain and I'm kind of naked right now, so forgive me. Don't worry, I'm not gonna show you my any of my naughty bits, but um. I just, I just need to vent and talk to somebody, even though I'm talking to you guys, because it's just, I want to cry, but I'm so exhausted, I can't produce any tears. Um, you know, after the surgery, and I, I after, in, when I was in post-op, I was in so much pain and um hello I was in so much pain and uh the nurse gave me a lot of pain medication but it didn't really do much and um before the surgery I specifically asked for Lasix Lasix, Lasix? it's like a um medication that helps you pee and um they gave it to me but still it's like i it just hurts i mean this the pain is worse like after the surgery compared to before it, it wasn't as bad and you would think that beforehand it would be worse than it is now um but she made this comment you know i was i was crying and I was agitated, you know, because, and shaking, and I'm like, I'm in so much pain, I'm in so much pain, and she's like, like, what are you giving me, and she goes, oh, it's your drug of choice, and I'm like, that threw me, I'm like, what, and she's like, delighted, and she said, drug of choice, and I was like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean, you know, and I, and I, I guess she's seen my chart, and the drug seeking thing that's on there, you know, and, I'm like, you know, do you really need to say something like that? I didn't say it, say it to her, but I was just like, really, do you need to say shit like that? I'm not a fucking drug seeker. I'm not an addict. It's just, I work so hard to be a good, morally upstanding person. I, I'm a person that deals with chronic pain. And I try not to rely on opioids because they don't really do me any good 
for the conditions that I have. But it's just like, you they see that on your chart because maybe you've had a number of prescriptions for certain issues and they just put that label on you. And it, it just sucks. I honestly think I'm so dehydrated, I can't even fucking produce tears. But believe me, I'm, this is not like fake upset. This is, this is real. And um, to get my mind off of um, this current predicament that I'm in, I want to talk a little bit about, <laughs> I can't believe this. <sighs> about our girl, Amberlynn Reed. Like, and the reason why I'm, I'm discussing, I'm saying this now is because I'm upset because she's been going after one of my favorite YouTubers, Sabine Davis, who does really awesome videos, as well as talking about Amberlynn Reed. Um, she's been bombarded on her YouTube page. Sabine has from her am from ambulance and babies they've um, reported multiple videos of hers trying to get them taken down that pertain to Amberlynn Reed and it hasn't worked um, and Berlin's been apparently ranting and raving about her on Twitter I don't know I really haven't been paying attention but I only found out about this when I watched Sabine's um, latest video. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, I think this all started with a mug when somebody posted a side-by-side -side comparison of this mug that Amberlynn got, Reed had in 2016 and then the one that she got on her supposed Walmart haul, which I'm completely convinced is a freaking fake. Um, because she can't fit in a car. She can't like go to, you know there's no way she can go to Walmart so she probably had you know Becky FaceTime while she was in there and had Becky pick out stuff that she wanted hello so um I think that like I said I think that's when it started and the fact that now Amberlynn Reed's trying to ruin Sabine's YouTube channel with her bullshit is just really ticks me off because Sabine is an honest, moral, down to earth person who tells it like, like it is. And I honestly think it's just disgusting what Amberlynn Reed is doing or trying to do. I know Sabine's not like too bothered by it. I mean, you know, she's like really being a trooper about it, but it doesn't take away from the fact about how disgusting this type of behavior is from Amberlynn Reed. It's like she's trying to pull an Onision, trying to censor people when you can't censor somebody's thoughts and opinions and it's not like Sabine is doing anything that goes against YouTube policy because the videos have been reviewed by YouTube administrators and there's nothing wrong with them they're back up now and Amberlynn and her Ann babies are like abusing like I don't know what the law, what, I don't know what you call it, but they're abusing the, the, uh, I'm going to call it the takedown policy for her own gain because she can't take criticism. And, you know, Amberlynn has done this shit to herself. She's put herself where she is. And she's in, la la, she's delusional. She's in what I like to call la la land. She does not live in current reality like the rest of us do. 
and uh, she can't take shit like I like to see her be in my position right now I think she would freaking have a heart attack It's like, you know, we all have our trials and tribulations, and it seems that Amber can't take anything. Like, she says, oh, I have tough skin. I can take a lot. Bullshit. If you could take a lot, Amber, then the Am Sabine's thoughts and opinions and what you would call judgment of you would just roll off your back. But obviously it's not. And you're going against her pretty hard because you're so afraid that you're going to lose more people on your side because they'll see the reality. The fact of the matter, the fact of the matter is, Amber, is that you're already losing people because you're doing it to yourself. You're treating the viewers like crap. You're treating your whole YouTube career like it's some big fat joke. You don't care about anything but money. And that's so completely obvious now. Now you're saying, oh, I'm getting help. I've, you know, I'm going to do my videos on time. And I've seen a psychiatrist. I've seen the weight loss doctor. Bullshit. I don't believe it. I think it's a complete farce as far as I'm concerned. Prove me, like, it's like, prove me wrong. Because you're not interested in getting help. Because if you got help, then at some point, people wouldn't watch you anymore because you'd be even more uninteresting. The only people, reason why people watch you is to watch the train wreck. You profit off your own fucking demise and it's just, it's just disgusting. And you don't even care about how your YouTube channel is affecting other people. Your behavior, sorry, your, you, your behavior on YouTube is affecting other people. It's just disgusting. Like, there are people that are emulating you. There is a YouTuber who is pretty young, literally just, like, out of high school. She's been doing mukbangs for three years. And it's because, basically, I think she sees your channel and she's like, Oh, gee, she's doing this. Now, she eats, you know, and she gets paid for it. Like... I can do this. This would be easy. I don't have to go to college. I don't have to make something of myself. I can just be a lazy, fat, uneducated idiot like Amberlynn Reed. I don't have to contribute anything to society. It just makes me sick. Sicker than I already am right now. I really wish that there was some way we could get Amberlynn Reed off YouTube and off all social media because she's not the kind of person that should be on any social media platform. She is a toxic person. She is a danger to society. I know it sounds kind of like harsh and, you know, really dramatic, but it's just like you have people out there who are naive and don't and are are unable to see the reality of what Amberlynn Reed is doing and they'll look at her with and be like oh wow this is great you know no it's not great it's 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 bad it's just really bad um anyways um I'm in recovery right now I'm gonna be probably staying here for a couple days um I have a stint in right now, um, and it's just because to help keep my urethra open, because if I had no stint in there, it'd be swollen shut and I wouldn't be able to urinate, and I could get like a bladder, really bad bladder infection. You know, urine could back up in my bladder and cause even more problems. Um, I don't know what's going to happen these next couple of days or, you know, a week or so, but it's going to be a while until I'm to my normal self. So that means working out and everything is pretty much kind of off the table right now. I don't have money to afford to get a scale right now. I don't even have n enough money to get a, my f marijuana card. Low on, we're really low on funds right now. I feel bad because I did a lot of shopping this past month, past month or so. And I just, I spent, 
I don't know if I said this in a video or not, but I spent like $200 at Ulta. I don't usually do that, but it's like because of my, my skin has changed so much, I've had to like get rid of a lot of my skincare and some of my makeup. And so I had to go out and get a lot of new stuff. Like there's very few things that I've been able to keep that don't irritate my skin. But, um, it's just so, it's just been a really rough month or so. And like, I can't believe I'm even doing this video right now. I really can't, <laughs> but I'm a tough cookie and I know I can get through this. And, uh just want to say that lithotripsies are not a walk in the park. Um, they're really, they're just painful. And don't, if you ever have to have one done, don't let a doctor ever tell you that it's gonna, you know, your pain's gonna vanish once the procedure's done. It won't. You're gonna have a lot of pain down there. You're gonna have a lot of flank pain and it's make it be worse than it was before the surgery. So, um, I don't know when I'm going to do another update and I'm probably not going to feel like it for a while. And, uh, I just want to let you guys know that I'm doing okay. And, um, I, uh, the only thing I hope right now is just to get better quickly and I hope to God because I'm so mad at Amber right now for her for going after Sabine she is such a sweet person and I really I mean personally I really enjoy her videos um I really hope Amber gets nailed to the you know her ass nailed to the wall metaphorically speaking I hope you know maybe another boycott or something I don't know because this is ridiculous Sabine does not deserve this kind of treatment and Sabine, I really hope you see this video because I am an avid fan of yours and um, you really help me see the light when it comes to Amber Lynn. It wasn't until I started watching your videos when I really started to think and, you know, see the reality of Amber Lynn Reed. I beforehand was supporting Amber 100% and, um, you know, I, even though I had reservations, I was like, you know what, she's going through a lot and blah, 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 blah. But then I started watching you and it was like, wow, I need to rethink how I see Amberlynn Reed and, and channels like Amberlynn Reed. So, um, wow. You know, it's funny. I was thinking maybe I could do like a water tutorial, like kicky geese you know um but I don't know um god I look still I look like crap and this right here is still healing it's a lot better and I think you know usually when I have had kidney stones bad ones I usually break out a bit so this is I mean honestly it's not as bad because I'm using Dermalogica the Metabac kit and it's really done a lot of positive things to my skin. Um, so I I, th I think I, my my breakout would have been a lot worse had I been still using Tula. Not that I don't like Tula, it's just that it's not for me. Um. Anyways, uh, I'm in the middle of reading Nosferatu. It's a really good book. I really hope you guys watch the show and get to read the book and because it's so good. Um, but if it's not your cup of tea, it's not your cup of tea. But I'm probably going to be doing a lot of binge watching this next couple of days because I'm not going to really have anything else to do. Um, I just really wanted to go to the gym today and work on the pool, but just not in the cards. So, yeah. Just...
I'm sick of all of this. I've, I'm sick of this, the pain. I'm sick of the suffering, the chronic illness. I just, when is it going to end? You know, when, when am I going to be able just to go out and get a, a regular job and not have to worry whether I'm going to get sick, you know, each month or, or each week, you know? I just, I feel like, you know, going out on my own, getting my own apartment and stuff like that is like so far away right now. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, my de post surgery depression's getting to me. Anyways, I should go. Um, I'm having another bout of pain and I might need another heat pack. But um, just want to let you know, I'm doing okay. I'm just slowly recovering and um, peace out my ninjas.